Well, we've been talking about Avantasia a lot and Tobias Samet. <laughs> it's not the first time we talk about Tobias Samet on my stream here. And I do like Tobias Samet. I do like Avantasia. I know there was a bit of drama, you guys probably said, because I told the story what happened in the past between Dragon Force and Ed Guy. I think there was some bad blood after the tour, during the tour. And we talk about 2006, so it's a long time ago. But they have released a new single, Misplaced Among the Angels, featuring Nightwish Floor Jensen. This must be a big song. I actually want to hear it. I haven't heard this before. This came out um, a week ago. I must have missed it. Let's check it out. A sweet embrace in a distant dream Where did I take a wrong turn from up close to far away Before we start on this song, I gotta say, I, I didn't know official lyrics video was still a thing. I thought that was kind of old school. They don't even do that anymore. I thought it's uncool to do a lyrics video now, or no one cares about it. But luckily, they are doing it so we can hear the song before the album comes out. <laughs> right? That's a good thing. You know what? Whatever works, it's good for the fans. A crowded room, cave, stare at those names in Charcot's name. Afraid of the rain that might wash away the heart that I pain around a name and leave an empty spot inside my soul. And I won't contemplate it. I'd have thought the devil to be the one that you need. And I'm giving myself. I gotta say, I don't know how Tobias Samet does it. Years, years and years, they, he keeps doing it again and again. I don't get it. And what I mean is this. It's really difficult to write lyrics into a story while still be able to make it sound good when it's sung with different melodies. What I mean is you want to be able to hear a song and hear the lyrics. That means you can hear it without reading it. And it's not easy because sometimes you can't just force, force a line into a melody. It will sound weird and people will never understand what you're singing. Example, Rhapsody. And I love Rhapsody, but when I listen to Rhapsody, I have no idea what they're singing. And then I read the lyrics, you go, oh, okay. But if I don't have Rhapsody lyrics, I'm listening to them sing. I go, I have no idea what you're singing, but this sounds so amazing. This sounds so cool. It's super majestic, but I don't know what you're singing. But Toby Samet, he's able to pull it off. Again and again, he made so many albums, so many songs, he's, and he still can stick to the catchy chords. What I mean is that he can still make the song sound really majestic, catchy, he goes to the right chords and right melody, it lifts you up, and still be able to put the story in the lyrics. It's not easy to do. Look, some bands, they I say, Sonata Atika, you know, they moved away. Remember the early albums? All oh, the songs really catchy. It just gets there. You want to put your fists in the air. And then these days, they really change the formula. I know Tony Kako doesn't want to go to the typical chords. Doesn't want to go in the, what you would expect all the time. So they kind of lost that catchiness for me. For what I like about Sonata Atika. You know, it's, they hasn't got that uplifting triumphant stuff that used to do. And then fitting the lyrics. I mean, Tony, I don't think he does it as well as... Tobias does. And Tobias got it against him because he has to write a story and that you have to be understand the lyrics and hear it. And it's all concept, right? And you gotta do multiple singers. So I guess he's like, you know, he's a he's a genius in the way he's able to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. No one cares about my opinion probably, but let's hear this song.
I mean, how does this work, right? Even crazier. We're talking about majestic, melodic, operatic, triumphant metal opera. And on these projects, most singers singing this, English is not their native language. And they make it sound so good. Like, Flo is just like, she's killing it each time. Every time she comes in, you go, wow, okay. She's going to own this. Isn't it crazy? Most in the metal world, the English native speakers want to go raw. I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean? In, in terms of like this kind of music. That's a cool double chorus harmony singing. That was a nice solo. And uh, the only complaint I have with Avantasia is not enough guitar solos. You guys heard me say this already multiple times. That's my only complaint for this, this band or this project. It's not enough guitar solos, not enough guitars, uh, matter of fact, not, not enough crazy guitars. A sweet embrace, a dying dream. You know what I like about this, um, this chorus where they're singing in harmonies, you know, my brain, I can't stop analyzing it, but at the same time, without analyzing it, even though I'm not thinking about analyzing the music, I'm like trying to hear it. I want to hear like who is making those heartbreaking notes. And they're actually both doing it at the same time. There's something that really kind of grabs you there in the chorus. It's like heartbreaking. And there's a reason why they don't have much guitar solos here, because this is the vocalist display, right? They're going to display the vocalist more on these kind of songs that Tobias writes. Tobias is not a guitar player. No, he's not, you know, he's a singer. <laughs> but this is, this is sounding super good, man. Misplaced among the angels Misplaced among the angels Right. I mean, it's actually kind of interesting you look at this, right? Because this is a metal opera, and I'm sure it's part of a concept here, like all their albums are. So this is not going through that typical, you have to do guitar solo after the second chorus or bridge and then do another thing. They don't have to follow a formula if they don't want to in this kind of concept. But it's still structured in a nice, um, catchy, memorable 
memorable way. And you want to go and listen to this again. I think that's why there's like half a million views on this. It's a new song. It's a good one. I don't know what you guys think. Write down. Let me know what you think. And what do you think of my analysis is on this new Tobias Samet Avantasia song with um, Floyd Jensen from Nightwish. And I said it already last time and there was a big response. Of course, I made a video regarding... I did a reaction to a Avantasia song recently. And I also told you a story about the bad blood that Ed Guy or Tobias Samet had with Dragon Force. And funny, he didn't respond to me directly, but a lot of people was asking him regarding that reaction video. He made a statement on his Facebook. So he said, we're all good. We're all good now. We're just young. You know, shit happens when we're young. We do stupid things and life goes on. So look, I'm all good. As you know, I like Ed Guy. My favorite Ed Guy album is Theater of Salvation. I like a lot of their albums. I think um, Tobias is super talented. Since Tobias Sam said there's no bad blood. Look, I'm, I'm sending this out. And I think fans can tell me what you think. Look, I think I would like to get Tobias Samet to come and sing on the next Dragon Force album with Mark. Let's do something. Let's do some kind of collab and really bury this bad blood from 2006, right? Forget about what was said in the press. Who cares? No one cares. All forgotten. And look, I'll do some guitar solos on an Avantasia album. Let's do, a, let's do a swap. Let's do some kind of collab. You need some guitar solos on our tapes. Yeah. I know you know a lot of great guitar players. Certainly a lot of, lot of them better than me. But I think this would be a cool one. Let's do some collab. If you think this is a good idea, also write that in the comment. If you want to see more reaction and subscribe to the Dragon Force YouTube and Hermony YouTube channel for different contents coming out and check out our music here on Dragon Force YouTube. Hit it.